Hello. Welcome to the July reminder for your uh, foot case study exercises. Um, many of these exercises will be repeats from last month's June, so I will go quickly over them. As you should probably be going quickly, fairly quickly over them yourself as you become more familiar and more comfortable with doing the exercises, each of the exercises hopefully will take less time. So we're going to begin with the foot massage as you did before. And again, we'll do the arch of the foot um, and then the top of the foot. Then we're going to add in a shin massage. So I'm not going to really explain the massage um, on the arch of the foot and the top of the foot because we've already been through that. Um, but I am going to do it. And I'm sitting in a manner that um, somebody saw me sit in, in the other day um, when I was doing my massage. And this is a position that works really well for me. Um, just brings my foot in a little closer. It's easier for me to get to. So I thought I'd demonstrate that. So four to five times, same number across the soles of the foot. And you can see I'm actually using both hands and kind of strumming across, not really wasting much time on it. You can, um, there's no such thing as wasting. That's a dumb word. I'm not spending much time on it, but I am still getting the sides of the foot, okay? And just from the heel to the ball of the foot. And then the top of the foot. So again, working the big toe and its neighbor, we're gonna go four to five times, and you can do what I'm doing. I'm, see, I'm using all four of my fingers going from the ankle and I'm strumming, again, I feel like I'm a harpist or a musician, from the ankle towards the toes. And I'm going fairly strongly, but I'm not hurting myself. We had one of our clients, hi. hi. One of our clients, um, she was getting, her hands were getting sore and that can happen for sure. So you can use your fingers. See, I've got my fingers together. You can support each other. You can also put a thumb and a finger together for your massaging or the two fingers. And then the shin massage, again, is just directional. It's between the two bones, the um, uh, tibia and the fibula. We've got a uh, band of fascia that often gets very tight and prevents the bones from moving in their natural way that they do when we breathe, when we move. So rubbing from the knee towards the ankle only, again, you can use this thumb or finger positioning and strum that direction. I'm a big, dig my thumbs, see how I got my thumbs bent, dig my thumbs in. If you prefer, you can use your fingers or you can use your whole hand. And we're gonna go about five times each shin, okay? And then I'm just going to quickly do the other leg, starting with the sole of the foot, from side of the foot to side of the foot, across the arch, four to five times across, and that's links, not laps necessarily. Of course, if it's feeling good and you have more time, yeah, sure, spend more time massaging the feet. And then top of the foot, big toe and its neighbor first four to five times each foot, I mean each set of toe bones. And then the shin from the knee towards the ankle, rubbing down, my pants are getting in the way, so I'm just gonna lift that up, and that gives me a easier time. Okay. Then we're gonna do our point and flex exercises. They are the same exercises that we did before. I don't wanna change those, but I am going to switch the repetitions. So before we were doing full point flex eight times, and then each of the variations where we curl and articulate through the feet, each of those variations we were doing four times. Now I'm gonna switch it. So the full point and flex is four times each, and the articulations are eight of each variation. So 
I'm just going to run through those. So as you, again, you can watch foot tracking, make sure your feet are parallel, the toes aren't turning or tilting, the feet aren't supinating or pronating, turning inward, turning outward, or twisting, even as you move. So as you inhale, point, exhale, flex. That's one, inhale and exhale, two, inhale and exhale, three, inhale and exhale, four. That's it for that variation. And then turn the toe, let's do it this way first, sorry. We'll flex through the feet, point the toes, pull the toes back, ankles flex. Inhale and exhale, that's two. Inhale and exhale, three. Inhale and exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, exhale, six. Inhale, exhale, seven. Inhale. Exhale, eight. Reverse the variation. So first curl the toes, reach through the ankles, pull back, release the toes. Curl the toes, reach, pull back, undo. Three, reach, breathe in, breathe out. Five, breathe in, breathe out. Six, breathe in, breathe out. Seven, breathe in. That's eight. Good. Ankle rotations, also the same, which we're only going to do the variation where the legs turn as well. So um, let's go. I'll take turn my feet this way. So in a seated position, and we'll do eight each direction. In a seated position, you're going to have the legs apart, and you're going to rotate the thighs inward and outward. Inward and outward, inward and outward, and four more, three more, two more, one more. I'll do the other variation on my back so you can see what that looks like. Legs are up, and then you go eight, seven, so you're rotating here at the thigh, not making a circle with the leg, just rotating the thigh bone in the pelvis, and four more. Three more, two more, and one more. Good. Standing roll downs are next. Um, I'm going to save those for last. The squeezes, toe squeezes, again, are the same. Um, we're going to do them eight times each way. So that's exactly the same as before. Uh, flatten the feet, soles of the feet to the ceiling, try to keep the feet level, and as you inhale, we'll turn the ankles inward, turn the shins inward, and squeeze the toes. As you exhale, rotate outward and spread the toes. Inhale, exhale, that's two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Now hold the flex, hold the rotation outward. Squeeze here. Turn inward and spread the toes. Inhale, turn outward, exhale. Inhale, spread, exhale, curl. Inhale, exhale, spread in. Exhale, four more. Three, two, and one. Shake it out if that feels good. Whirly gags. Okay, so this is another. Let me scoot back a little bit. This is another toe foot massage maneuver. And I'm going to sit so you can see. You're going to hold on to the feet at the, not the tip of the toes, but the base of the toes. And we're going to start with the big toe and its neighbor. And you're going to grab onto the toe. And you're going to take the big toe, rotate it over the toe next to it, and the other toe goes under. So you're making a half circle. And then rotate the other way. Now the more you hold near the base of the toe, it might be harder to make a full half circle, but that's okay. Because the more you hold near the base of the toe, the more we start to mobilize the toe bones 
in the foot itself rather than just the um, digits. So we'll go four to five times each set of toes and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, other foot. Big toe and its neighbor start first, whirly gang from the base, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, making a little semi-circle with each toes, five, and the little toe is near. Four and five. Okay, to the best of your ability. I know each of us has um, our own particular arrangement of the toes. If you're having a really hard time because of cross toes, let's look at it. We'll probably just have to modify greatly. Um, I don't think that we'll have to completely cut it out. If you're having pain, let me know right away. I go, I go like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it too much. If you get four on one and six on the next, doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five. I can't get it on the video, you guys. One, two, three, four, five.